the German Federal Agency for Nature Conservation has worked for many years to protect harbor porpoises. This is the smallest cetacean species found in the northern Baltic seas and the only native one. They only grow to a length of about two meters with weights of up to 80 kilograms. These toothed whales are mostly seen singly or in groups. They reach maturity fairly late. Females bear a single calf in early summer. The calf stays with the mother for up to 10 months. There are numerous international conservation efforts under the HELCOM and ASPA conventions. Perhaps the most important is ASCOBANS, a regional agreement. Management plans for harbor porpoise mainly target the threats faced by these sensitive marine mammals. A notable threat is human-induced underwater noise from seismic surveys and ship propellers. In recent years, the main source of noise is from the construction of offshore wind turbines like these. Harbor porpoises are still sighted fairly regularly in the western Baltic Sea, but eastward of the Dar Sill, they're classed as endangered. Gill net fishing is one of the causes. Harbor porpoises can get caught up in the nets and drown. Porpoises navigate by echolocation. They do this by making clicking noises that can be picked up by underwater microphones. Over 300 of these porpoise detectors were put out across the Baltic Sea for the first time in an international project in 2011. Provisional results show that harbor porpoise are found right up into Finnish waters, but their numbers are evidently very small. Scientists from the German Marine Museum in Stralsund are now working with the Federal Agency for Nature Conservation to devise management plans for harbor porpoise. The aims are to minimize threats, safeguard breeding and feeding grounds, and in this way to stabilize the populations. So that these fascinating marine mammals, like this rare white harbor porpoise, can continue to live in our seas. <laughs>